Uh, interesting, interesting points. But you mentioned the if you change banks, like if you stayed with the same bank and did a refinance and got a value out there, do they cover that cost or is it still? No, nah, they bank because it because it actually is a lot of work for them. Like they have to actually have someone. They they'll literally give you like a 20, 30 page report. Like they'll go through and risk profile everything, look at all the comparable sales. They do a lot of work, so you you have to pay for that valuation. Most of the time, you're doing it because you actually want a higher valuation. So it's like a risk versus reward one. And I, I get clients where we buy a property really well and in a year's time I know it's worth more and it's kind of like, oh, do I tell the client go get a valuation because you might want to go again? Uh, but then that's a little gamble that you got to make as well because you might get a really conservative valuer and they just go, oh, it's only 12 months old since that price, I'll just write that price. Yeah. So. Yep. But, uh, it's case by case with the valuers, mate. <laughs> they might just chuck in a little bit of a growth rate on top of your purchase price. But um, yeah, yeah. It, there is a lot of work that goes involved. Uh, one of our... Well, good mates, Jake Lambert, he's commercial value with Heron Todd White. And we had him on the podcast and we sort of run through this, the in-depth that like, it, it's pretty good value for like the 1500 bucks that they charge given all the work that they do. But um, yeah, different valuers have different mindsets. And that's, I guess, if you are thinking why, uh, it depends on what period of the cycle that they've been through, their age. Some are, yeah, some are conservative, some are, you know, too optimistic. It's just like anything, right? There's good, there's there's bad and there's average in every industry. Yeah. The the hard thing is, yeah, spot on. So it's like buyers, agents, there's good ones, there's bad ones. I've seen some terrible valuations. You look at it and they're, they're using comparables from two years ago and you're like, we are a completely different market now than we were two years ago. Why are you looking that far back? The other thing is so many variables, like no commercial is the same. Like, yes, you can look at square meter, but you've got like the strength of the lease, what the rental increases are, like, is it below or above market rent? Is the building new? Does it have a mezzanine? Does it have value add? Um, like what's going on in the area? Like what's the foot traffic, road traffic? Are they building anything else? Like there's so many variables that, and the market's moving every three months. Like they've actually got a really tough job and that's probably why they take the conservative side. Um, but I've, I've seen some terrible value. I got ones where they said it was a flood zone and we can test it being like, it's not a flood zone. It's 200 meters away. And they're like, oh, sorry, that was from the last report. And I'm like, Great, you've done a copy paste job and you've stuffed it and we've paid for it. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess um, my excuse for everyone there is uh, like the time it takes to go and do the report, it all comes down to like everyone's getting screwed on fees in some way or another. And um, as a value, you don't have much say in it because it's yeah, driven by or the banks on that front. So mm-hmm. you, you pay that once again, you pay a cheaper price for evaluation, you'll get a cheaper you know result uh, most of the time. Mm-hmm. But they get in, get out. They're doing, you know, a couple a day. In the resi side, I remember I used to do like 10 a day and you just get in, get out, move on to the next one. So yeah. going into the buy side and, you know, understanding all those factors that you just um, hit on with like your value ads and things like that, like that's – it's a different level of education and knowledge that you're putting on these these deals. And, you know, for people that are buying property, you're a lot more accurate in your assessments or – for me personally, I've grown a lot over the last you know, four years buying property as I have um, been you know, as, a, as a valuer for the past like, eight years before that. Yeah, one of, I'm not making any accusations, Sam, against your old industry, but like typically the cheaper, the, the basically what happens is the banks will present you with three different valuers. So three different panels you can choose from. What a coincidence, the cheaper one always comes with the worst valuations and the most expensive comes with the best valuations. But that's also part of it as well. And I, I, my methodology and what I probably understand is the cheaper one have to be more conservative because they're doing it faster, cheaper, in a quicker time, um, whereas the other one can be a bit more accurate. Uh, but here's a little tip for people. If you're buying it and when the bank or broker presents the valuers, a uh, little trick is call the selling agent and ask them who they like dealing with because what will happen is if they, they – they're doing it all every day, so they'll know the valuer that's going out to them and if they've got a really good ratio, I'm not saying it's corrupt because it's not corrupt, but they will they will then sell it better to the valuer and be like, oh, look at this comparable, look at this, this is great. This tenant is going to be five years, and that just helps helps move it up a little bit and make sure you get a good good valuation. Oh, I love that little tip. <laughs> another little tip would uh, <laughs> I jump in is uh, if you've got a past valuation too from a valuation firm and it is on the conservative side, they look at what they've done in the past, and it's harder to justify a higher figure. If they, if the market value real or the contract price is twenty percent above what the last valuation was twelve months ago, 
they'll it's very difficult for them to pull that trigger. So you might not want to go with that valuation firm. 